In this session, we will go through how to approve, post, and print checks and stubs for construction payroll in Sage Intact. To start this process, go into Applications, Construction Payroll, Checks. Pull up the pay group, in this case weekly, hourly, and what is the check date that you're looking to process. In this scenario, it'll be 2-2, and we'll click View Checks. All the checks will, will come up. If they are not approved, which typically they won't be, uh, you will have to select the checks you'd like to approve. You can select all at the top, or you can individually check them off. And then you'll go to Actions Approve. Until they are approved, you won't be able to proceed with the next steps. And as you can see here, my checks are approved. And they show it by having the approved checkbox here in the, this column. Once those are approved, you can keep the checkbox on and proceed to the next step, which is the posting. This is going to post the journal entry over to the general ledger. We'll click Post. System's going to check all your GL mappings to make sure that the mappings are correct. And when it's done processing, we should get confirmation that that has posted through the system. And we get a good success. The checks have been posted. Click OK. And now you'll notice that there's a posting checkbox on the column. If you would like to review that entry, you can go over to General Ledger, All, Journal Entries, go down to your Payroll Journal, which is right here, and click View Transactions. And you'll see here's the posting that we just did, 2-2. We can click View, and it will give you a recap of the journal entry that happened for the payroll. And you can go ahead and print that if you'd like, or you can send it to Excel for review. Once you're done reviewing it, to actually get to the print checks, print pay stubs stage, you come back into checks. And just like before, pull up your check run you're looking to do. So we'll say 2 2 and click view checks. And make sure they're selected. And what you can do now is under actions, you can click pay. Now, depending on, I'm going to go ahead and click pay here, depending on if the employee receives a check or a direct deposit, it's going to re return the proper document and download the proper document for you. So right now it's executing the action. And if you'll notice, once I click OK here in the bottom, you should see a pay stub download that's happened. You can click on that to open it. And you'll notice over here, I have some direct deposit stub notifications, and I have actual checks. So if I open up the direct deposit stub notifications, it looks like I have six of those. So those are ready for you to print or email out. And I'll just go to the next one, next one, and close those. And if you had actual checks to print out, you could open this up now, put your checks in the printer, your check forms in the printer, and click print from here and it would print on your check forms. Click OK when done. You can save these PDF files somewhere more secured if you'd like. Close it when you're done. And that would conclude our posting and printing out our check stubs and checks in payroll. Thank you.